welcome back to my channel. It's a diabetic video today. I'm going back on my Dexcom. Very long story. My doctor was not happy with my most recent A1Cs. So he said that I should go back on this and I was like, okay, fine. I have a whole thing on that. I talked about why I went off of it, why I didn't love it, and a lot of people had said that there was a new model out. I hope that's what I got. I don't know. I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to be real about, like, my last video talking about this is about why I don't wear it anymore, so then if I'm suddenly wearing it, I don't know. I just wanted to be open and honest with you guys about my diabetes, so let's crack this bitch open. I heard from my doctor that I guess in the United States, Dexcom is is eventually going to be covered for all type 1 diabetics, but not type 2. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, so this is the G6, which is different from what I had. Urine strips. <laughs> I think this is not related. <laughs> diabetics have to pee on a strip and it tells you if you have ketones and that means there's fat or sugar in your pee. I don't remember. It's not good. You're not supposed to have them. My last receiver was a lot smaller than this. I feel like it was like half the size. And it was pink, and this one's black, and I'm not okay with that. Okay, start here. Jesus, it's a fucking, it's a phone book. Are you kidding me? Why is it this complicated? So I'm glad it's the G6 because a lot of people told me that some of the things that I didn't like about the G5 have been fixed. So that's good news. My biggest thing that I hated about the G5 was the alarm that would go off when my blood sugar is low. I understand some people might need that. I can feel when my blood sugar is low, so I don't need the alarm but also the alarm doesn't or didn't stop until you brought it back up. So I couldn't like drink juice, shut off the alarm. Like I got it, I'm fine. Nope, I gotta sit there and wait for the alarm to stop. So because I was so terrified of the alarm going off in public places, I would purposely spike my blood sugar up to avoid having the alarm go off, which is kind of the opposite point of this system. So hopefully that's not the case anymore. All right, start here. Turn on receiver. <sighs> okay, it says <laughs> receive an urgent low alarm when your glucose levels drop to 55 or below the setting cannot be changed or turned off why i don't like that i'm gonna set it for really low or as low as it'll go i don't want a high alert i do not need a high alert i guess i don't have a choice so i'm gonna take it all the way up as high as it'll go it goes up to 400 oh wow i don't really remember what my old one was like but i know it wasn't like this this looks totally different okay so now is the fun part of jamming this into myself okay so they want you to put it like here, I'm not doing that. I hate it there. I'm putting it in my arm. Fold and break off safety guard. Well, maybe I should have done it in the right spot for the first time. <laughs> Press button to insert sensor. Okay. Whoa, oh my god. Whoa, that was intense. It was like somebody punched me with a key, like they had a, a key in their knuckles. It doesn't hurt though. I'm okay. I'm all right. Don't worry. I'm okay. I'll get through it. This, now I just, what, throw this away? Seems wasteful, but okay. Throw away applicator. That's crazy. Snap in transmitter. What did I do with it? Okay, so first impressions, it's fine. I can still move my arm. Um, it's a little bit sore, like I just got a flu shot or something, but insert transmitter tab first into holder. Oh, shit. Snap in transmitter, it clicks into place. Rub around patch three times. <laughs> what? One, two, three. Tap start sensor to begin two hour warm up. Okay, so while I am waiting for this thing to kick in, I got a wad of clothes thrown onto my driveway and I thought we can open this while we wait if you want. I'll put the skip ahead number if you don't care about this, but I bought some clothes, so let's open them. I literally never leave my house, but I order clothes as if every day I have some big event to go to. 
Ooh, it's like a fake leather dress. I don't wear real leather because that's cruel. It smells weird, but it's got like wings. It's like an 80s throwback. Should I try it on? I guess I should try them on to see if I should return them or what. And I'm going to try this on right. Yay, is it cool? Like, I really don't know where I will ever wear this, but I saw it and I was like, yeah, it's cool. It gives me like an 80s witch kind of vibe and it hides my thing. It's right here in the fluff. So I don't know, I guess I can make a music video in it or something, wear it to the grocery store. I don't know. Lie in bed and be sad in it. <laughs> it smells really weird, but okay. I'm flexing on you guys so hard right now. It's my Forever 21 haul and my insurance paid for <laughs> Jesus. Are you jealous? Leave a like if you're super jealous of me. Okay, these are leggings. Ooh, yes. Okay. And then these are jogger pants, but they're peak depression pants because they're like velvety and soft and you can wear them to bed and wear them days in a row. Oh yeah, these are amazing and they have pockets, which I did not know. So that's incredible. This was the last thing and I really didn't even care about this when I ordered it. It was one of those situations where like, okay, my cart was, I don't know, we'll just say like $67 plus shipping. But when I added this, it was $60. So it was like it only made sense to buy it, but I really didn't care about it. I was like, okay, whatever. So we'll see. It's a long dress. Oh, it's actually way cuter in person. Oh, okay. Let me go try this on to complete my flex for you guys. I really don't. I'm sorry if this is coming off as braggy. I don't want it to. I'm just trying to kill time. I really, I don't think this has killed more than 20 minutes, but let's check this one out. Wow, I really like this actually. I really wasn't expecting to. It's super like soft and flowy. Um, on the computer screen, the green looked almost blue and I didn't think it looked right. It didn't make sense. But in person, I like it a lot, actually. It's very comfortable. I wear dresses a lot and people think, they always say things like, oh, you like to get dressed up. It's actually the opposite. I'm super lazy. Putting on a dress is just one thing. Instead of putting my legs into stuff, I just and I'm ready to go. So I really like this. This is a good lazy dress to not wear anywhere, to sit around the house and do nothing. So cool. That was my Forever 21. I don't know what this video is. It has spiraled. I'm just trying to fill some time, but I guess I can just not film for two hours. That's possible also. Okay, and we're back. Two hours has passed and my blood sugar is 338, which is not good. Um, but for all of my G6 people watching this, I'd love to know what you think of it overall. Please subscribe if you want to join the Maluminati. It is my cult where I talk about music and diabetes and crystals and whatever I feel like and clothes, I guess now. Um, so yeah, thank you for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye. I hate this machine. It drives me nuts. I cannot shut the alarm off. Look, I'm gonna show you right here. You'll see that I have it off. It does not care. <laughs> it still goes off at night to the point where last night I got so frustrated, I put it in my vocal booth and shut the door because I was like, I don't wanna hear it. And I've looked it up online. So many people have the same exact complaint. And like I said, I get having the alarm the first time, maybe to wake somebody up or something, but they should be able to manually shut it off once they take care of it. What I think would be helpful is let's say the alarm goes off, you manually go in and say, okay, I took care of it. If you don't, then maybe Dexcom contacts a person that you designate to get a notification or something. There's gotta be something better than just a super, super loud alarm that goes off every five minutes until your blood sugar goes back up. That is the stupidest thing. I'm very frustrated. I've been wearing this for about two weeks now. My blood sugars have been better. So I don't know. I hope Dexcom is really hearing us, but it seems like they're not. It sucks to hear that so many of us are going through this and not being heard. So that's my frustration with it. But overall, I am thankful for it. I don't want to come across like I'm complaining about this life-saving device. It really is nice. I just hate the alarm so much. If Dexcom could modify it in some way, I would be so, so happy with it. But that's where I'm at. Thank you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.